Okay, today we're doing a short film on changing oil filter on an off-field engine. Uh, in particular, we're going to do what we call the Vokes filter oil change. Um, there's three types of uh, oil filter fitted to the range of uh, Nuffields uh, in the middleweight range. There's two parallators and then there's a Vokes. With the Vokes you can clearly see it says Vokes on the filter head, it's ever so easy. So there's only one filter type to use. The filter type that we use has a pressing in the end and has an opened end at the other. So quite often with these the bits get chucked in the bin when uh, the filters get changed filter goes in the bin and everything goes with it so I'm doing a quick film just to really show how it should go back together so what we'll start with obviously you've got the bolt it's got a plain washer this is then followed by a seal as always all these parts are available for ourselves That's the seal fitted. Next, there's the shaped washer at the bottom. Always important to check that the bottom of the filter canister hasn't been caved in. If that's been dished in, get a flat punch, get it on the ground, and give it a knock, flatten it off again. People just over tighten them over the years. So, obviously, got the washer, seal, passes through there. Step one. You have your little retaining clip. Usually on this particular filter setup, the retaining clip um, goes on first. It can't go on last, unfortunately, because obviously it's got a hole, so it just literally stops the canister falling off the bolt. So we use a screwdriver just to push that down. It only has to be down far enough so the filter doesn't foul on it. As you can see, I've not yet pushed it far enough down, so I'd be fair, I'm just going to use the filter, send it all the way home. So now that's just retained. So next comes a spring, followed by a steel washer, followed by a felt seal. Felt seal is important because that will obviously go up against that to make the seal on the filter canister. There you go, feel the sound. You know, the, the canister's now assembled. It's always important to make sure that you dig the old seal out of the filter head. The old ones can go really, really hard and get left in. So I always say, get your screwdriver, dig right to the bottom until you can actually feel that you're scratching out your meme away. It's a common fault I've found over the years. People just leave one in, put one on the top, and then say, you know, obviously, my filter head's faulty, got a crack in it. It's not real, it's just got two seals. The seal's quite a thin section. Just slip that in. Like thus. Right. You'll need a 9 16 spanner to tighten it up. That ceiling ring goes against that face. And then just tighten it up. Just being mindful to get the steel canister on the rubber seal. Give a bit of a riddle as it goes up. And then just nip them up. like so filter change um, on a Vokes filter head these would be usually on like a universal 3 universal 4 possibly a, a few of the 3 4 2's and the 460 uh, no field models I hope you found this uh, useful there's an illustration just down here showing the components that I just assembled obviously it's showing the bolt steel washer the rubber seal the large shape washer, 
canister, the clip, the spring, steel washer, felt seal, finally the canister and ceiling ring. And there we go.